Hey, what's up? It's Tony from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. Thank you for watching this short video, and I'm going to basically talk to you about the most common question in the market: uh, What causes orange peel? I just painted my panel, uh, my car, and I got orange peel all over it. It looks horrendous. What caused it, and how do I fix it? All right. So uh, there's three reasons why it happens. Okay, or a combination of the three, and there are two ways to fix it. I'm going to explain to you all these five little methods here, five bullet points I'm going to explain to you right now. All right. So the first reason why you might have had orange peel, the first reason is ambient temperature. Okay. I'll explain these in detail after I write them down. Ambient temperature. All right, so that's the first reason. Your second reason is your gun settings. And your spray PSI. All right, and your last one is paint mixture. And the types of reducers and activator hardener, which is known as hardener. I hope you can see that. Activator slash hardener. Okay, it's the same thing. Some people call it hardener, they call it activator, it's the same thing. Alright, and your reducers. So now with this stuff here, you're gonna notice that. Uh, when you buy reducers and activators and hardeners, there's going to be a low temp, a medium temp, and a fast. Okay, so fast is for doing spot panel repairs, right? Little touch ups, spot panel, stuff you want to get done quick. Medium is for colder days of doing a complete paint job. And low is for average temperature days, regular temperature days where you're doing a complete paint job and you want your paint to flow out. Okay, So that's what this reducer stuff is all about, hardeners and activators. Um, now the first thing I said is uh, ambient temperature. Okay, So if you're spraying in a cold environment, all right, it's possible that it doesn't give your paint a chance to flow out, which is going to give you orange peel. Okay, So your temperature of your room is important, uh, which also goes back to this stuff over here. What what are you painting? Okay, in what temperatures are you painting, and what product are you using? You want to make sure to use the right product. If it's in a little colder area, you want to maybe use a medium activator and reducer for your clear coat, so it doesn't take too long to dry. You don't want it to take too long to cure. Okay, uh, if you're in a hotter environment, you want to use a low temperature so you have time for your clear coat and paints to flow out. Okay? And if you're doing spot panel repairs, you want to get the job out of the shop, out of your home quick, uh, the fast is what I usually recommend. All right, So that's go back to that. And then your gun settings, okay? Gun settings, spray PSI. One more thing I forgot, uh, maybe I'll add it down here, is atomization. Okay, it's, it's actually with this part, gun settings. Let me just write it down here. I hope you can see that atomization, okay, is which your clear coat comes out in fine particles, okay? You want it to come out very fine. And if you have a low PSI, your clear coat is not going to atomize properly. It's not going to hit the panel in fine particles and have a nice glossy flow out, okay? You want to make sure you're spraying at, a, you know, I usually recommend 26 to 30 PSI. I like to spray my clear coat on at 28 pounds. Okay, so make sure 28 psi roughly to spray your clear coat. And your gun settings is very important. You want to make sure you have full throttle fluid flow coming out and a wide open fan when doing a complete paint job. All right, so these three reasons, uh, or a combination of those three, are is what's going to give you orange peel. All right, sometimes you just can't avoid it. All right, sometimes you're you're just going to get orange peel. Sometimes worse than other times, but there are ways to correct it 
and mostly 99% of all custom paint jobs are corrected by color sanding and buffing anyway. Alright, so the first way to correct it is to flatten down all your clear coat with maybe a 1500 grit, 2000 grit uh, DA or a block. You want to flatten down your clear coat so you see no orange peel, then you can buff it out with uh, compounds with the wool pad and the foam pad, uh, just like how we show you to do at the uh, Learn Auto Body and Paint.com training course. Okay, the other way to fix it is to flatten it out and just re clear it if it's just so bad. Maybe you want to just flatten it out, sand it all down, block it, and just re-clear it and see how it flows out then. All right? And then you could maybe color sand it and buff it. But most times, all you have to do is color sand it and buff it. So you can get in there with maybe a 1200 if you want to do it quick, 1200 the whole car on a DA if you know what you're doing. Then you want to go over it, wash it down with 2000. I like to buff over 2000 all the time. All right? So I hope you learned something here. Uh, it's Tony from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. If you want to learn more about painting, customizing, restoring automobiles, go to LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com and get your free 85-page e-read about auto body and paint. It's 85 pages of full content. I'm sure you're going to like it. Go to that site. You can get an instant download right now as well as be subscribed to our weekly trainings. So again, it's Tony at LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. I hope you learned something. Please like the video, share it, and uh, I'll see you around. Have a great day.